Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got another watercolor Wednesday for you and today I'm using an image from Art Impressions. This image is called Trick or Treaters and it is an older stamp. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere to link it for you. You may have some luck on eBay or Amazon or maybe at a swap though if you want to try and get your hands on this um, but it's just too cute to pass up doing it again I love the looks on all of their little faces and I'm always wondering what exactly is standing off to the side of the scene there that has them quite quite frightened so I have gone ahead and stamped this image on some Fabriano 140 pound hot press watercolor paper and I've used my usual Simon Says Stamp black ink You'll see here that I have masked the image with my uh, masking fluid. I will link that for you below. I've used several different brands. I'm currently using the graphics brand and I'm very happy with that. And what this masking liquid does is you paint that on just like you would with your regular watercolors and then let that dry. I let mine dry overnight just to be absolutely sure it's dry. And wherever you've painted that, it will get sort of a rubberized texture and it will repel the watercolor that you're placing in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead here and paint in my background. I did a mix of black and blue with a little bit of purple. And once I was happy with the darkness of that, I did splatter on some Mr. Huey's White Mister to create some stars in the background. Now I'm going to peel away just the horizon line that I had added in here so I can get my grass painted in below. I will leave all of the mask on the characters and I just use the edge of my fingernail to sort of cut through the mask and then peel that up in the places where I need that to be removed from. So again, I'm putting in a mix of greens here and I'm gonna create a nighttime scene. So I'm gonna make this a little bit darker than it is at the moment. I'll do several layers here, but I do wanna start creating my shadow, just a little bit of a shadow underneath these characters here. Then once I have that down, I'm gonna add a little bit more water and spread that out a bit. I just wanna give the hint of a shadow there. And once I'm happy with that color, I will peel away the rest of that the rest of that mask, and then I can go ahead and get my little characters colored in. So I'm using my usual Ganzai Tambi watercolors with my Santa Fe brushes. They are my favorites, my go-tos whenever I'm doing a watercolor. So I have sped this up quite a bit, but I left in the majority of the coloring for you. Uh, for those of you who enjoy watching that process, I'm going to turn up the music. And for those of you who'd like to skip ahead to the actual putting together of the card, you'll want to go to around the nine minute mark.
So now that my panel is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and trim that out using my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. 
I've also grabbed this spider web red rubber background stamp from Simon Says Stamp and I've inked that up with my Simon Says Stamp black ink pad. I'm just going to take my card base and lay that right on top there running my fingers around to make sure I get a nice impression around the edge. I wasn't worried about the middle because I'm going to be um, covering that up with my panel. So I've gone ahead here and added some scotch foam tape to the back of my panel. I'll peel away that backing and place that on my card base. And this card base is made from MFT's steel gray cardstock. There you'll see I've got a sentiment that has already been made. This was left over from when I did the Willow the Witch uh, watercolor. And that is some MFT black licorice cardstock. And I've heat embossed that with Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White. I've added a little bit of score tape behind there. And I'll place that down and then trim away the excess. For the inside, I'm pulling in the Happy Halloween sentiment. This is from the Stamping Bella Oddball Pumpkin Stamp Set. And I've stamped that out using Lawn Fawn Fake Tan Ink. I've grabbed about a quarter inch strip here of another piece of MFT black licorice cardstock. I'm gonna run that along the bottom of my inside panel. And this is my usual panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter of Nina cardstock. I'll add some ATG to the back and go ahead and place that on the inside of the card base. Lastly, I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to that ghost, so I have pulled in my Nouveau shimmer pen and I'm just going to run that lightly over top of him. And that will complete our card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.